Well, Christine, from the front of the house, you really can't tell because it looks like any other house in this neighborhood. But the back, as you said, it is packed with RVs, packed like sardines. And the owner renting the space is making about, allegedly making about $10,000 a month. They have a lot of campers and trailers and everything else. Over 20 RVs are packed into the backyard of this house in the 14,000 block of Hubbard Street in Silmar. I would have this door open and it's my front door. And when I'm sitting here, I could smell all the feces, all the urine. People in this neighborhood say the renters have been dumping human waste onto the streets of Silmar. Oh yeah, they've, they've, um, they've released water, sewage water into the street at night when, you know, they think people are asleep, but it, it, yeah, it gets, it gets the smell pretty bad. She and my sister went to Honduras to open a new church. Manny Famat, who lives in the illegal RV lot, says the owner, Cruz Florian Godoy, is a good woman trying to help people in need. And she's been helping a lot of people, especially people that obviously migrated and don't have really much to, uh, you know, credit and stuff like that, so she offered them a place to stay. But is it generosity or greed? We spoke with an RV tenant who asked us not to show her face. She told us some renters are paying 500, others 600, and some $700 a month. I tried to call her, and she won't answer the phone. The owner is facing two misdemeanor charges for housing so many RVs in the backyard without a permit and for all the trash. Residents say they've been complaining for a long time, but all they get is the runaround because the property is located on the border of the city of San Fernando and the city of L.A. And the police said, well, it's not our problem. It's a San Fernando problem. And San Fernando says it's the L.A. problem, but it's both the problems. Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez issued a statement that says in part, upon being notified of this issue, my office initiated the inspections of the property in question with the L.A. Department of Building and Safety, which resulted in violations and notices for compliance. While this case is pending with the courts for sanctions, I will continue to use every resource at my disposal to mitigate the health and safety risk it poses to the community. Now, the next court date has been scheduled for July for the homeowner, but the neighbors tell us that she has has missed every court date so far, every hearing, so they're not confident she will show up for the hearing in July. Reporting from Silmar, I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News. You feel for those neighbors?